The ancient world, the golden days of before, came to an end with the great cataclysm. Black fire raining from the skies engulfed the planet, the earth opened, and the seas flowed over the land. The cities of light, erected by the ancients, turned to dust, and the world was plunged into everlasting darkness. And when the divine wrath ceased afflicting our world, the initiates, spared by the sun god, arose amid the chaos. Guided by their faith, they set off in search of a land free of the Black Shroud, where life could once again spring forth. They were the wanderers, men and women in search of light and hope amid the perils of the Darklands. Their journey lasted many, many moons, until the glorious day when the fathers of our father's fathers finally ceased their wandering. They discovered a land blessed by the light of the sun god, a stalite. There they built a city and erected a temple in honor of the father of light. They called it Sparta. Today, a terrible danger threatens Sparta. The future of the entire city lies in the hands of a single man. Archon, the guardian of fire. In order to survive the terrible ordeals he faces, he must seek the help of those around him. His beloved Kali. Zed, his brother in arms. His father, Rilsadar. Lori, the great sun seer. Dan Rees, the scavenger. If they fail, the light of the sun god will never again shine ah! on Sparta. Sleep? Orkan, you're up. It looks like you had a rough night. I didn't want to wake you, but the first rays from the sun god are already filtering through. Don't worry, I was only dozing. Sleep? Orkan, you're up. It looks like you had a rough night. I didn't want to wake you, but the first rays from the sun god are already filtering through. Don't worry, I was only dozing. You know, I had a funny dream. I saw the great cataclysm and our ancestors, the wanderers who built our city. You dreamed about the founders of Sparta? That's the kind of dream real Sidar would like. Your son seer father really gets a kick out of history. Believe it or not, you were in my dream too. Along with my father, Zed, and the great sun seer, Lori. Even our friend Dan Rees, the old scavenger, was there. Do you think the sun god might have inspired your dream? I hope not. Listen. If the sun god really wanted to do me a favor, he'd rise a little later, so you and I could sleep in peace. Archon, if your father heard you say that, if you don't show more respect, you'll end up exiled in the Darklands. It's time to leave, all right? If anyone catches us here together, we'll both be in big trouble. I know, you're right. There's no sense playing with fire.
Here's my Guardian of Fire uniform. Arkan! It's Zed! Hurry up! Get out here! The Provost Dorkin summoned you! You're gonna get in big trouble if you don't get out here quick! Callie, be careful. Don't let anyone see you leaving. I don't want Provost Dorkin to see you. You know how strict he is about letting outsiders into the Guardians of Fire barracks. Don't worry, Arkan. I'll leave just as quietly as I came. Arkan, finally! Look, I have to get going. It's time to head up and start training. Captain Fedoria is waiting for me. Not exactly the most patient person in the world, as we know. If you feel like it, why don't you just come with me? Now's your chance. The next time the Sun God rises, I'm off on a new expedition into the Darklands. Arkan? Wait. Provost Dorkin. The great Sun Seer Lori has called an important meeting at the Temple of the Sun God. You've been designated to guard the door to the Council Chamber. Guardian Jeddah has been waiting for you. Go down and take up your post before the great Sun Seer arrives. Light be with you, Tescan. And light be with you, Arkan. What are you up to? You haven't heard? The Great Zed is getting ready for a new expedition into the Darklands. Captain Fedori gave me orders to help him. As you can see, lots of machines need repairs before he leaves. And he's taking off at the next rising of the Sun God. You've got your work cut out for you. I can handle it. It's a pleasure to be able to help a man like Zed. You're lucky to be a friend of his. I have to go stand guard at the Great Temple. Yeah. I think Jadar is already over there. Light be with you, Garn. Light be with you, Arkan. What are you up to? I'm on guard duty. Provost Dorkan told me to stay here until further notice. I have to go over and guard the Great Temple. The Great Temple, huh? You can head out. The coast is clear. No, Great Sunseer. I do not have time to attend this meeting. Believe me, an imminent danger threatens Sparta. Our entire city is in danger. I sense it. You well know that in the past, my predictions have always been correct. I beseech you, let me continue my research. But real Sadar, what are you afraid of? The darkness, great Sunseer. The darkness that threatens to engulf us all. The dark shroud is at our doorstep. And perhaps already within our walls. Your words cause me great alarm, Real Sidar. Be careful. Take this. I do not wish to keep it with me. It will be safer with you. Light go with you, my friend. May light be with you, Lori. My father and Lori, the great sunseer, with their heads together. They looked like they were pretty worried about something.
the melodious trumpets of the great Solar. The Sunseers use them for important ceremonies. Mmm, their music is magnificent. The melodious trumpets of the great Solar. The Sunseers use them for important ceremonies. Makes a hell of a racket. Light be with you, Sunseer. And light be with you too, friend. You have come to meditate before the Rahal, symbol of the Sun God. Good. Meditation will help strengthen your inner light. Are you an apostle of the Sun God? Yes, my friend. This symbol on my forehead, the Rahal, marks me as a messenger of the Sun God. His spirit is within me. He sees through my eyes and speaks through my lips. Believe me when I tell you his sacred light illuminates our hearts and protects the just from the darkness. And at nightfall, the just, illuminated by their faith, have nothing to fear when they see themselves abandoned by his divine light. Because night is an ordeal feared only by the impure. As with our ancestors from before, they are deprived of his light forever. Remember that only the just can expose themselves to the rays of the sun god without fear of death. Light be with you, Sunseer. Go in peace, guardian of fire. Yeah, uh, I think I've heard about enough. Go in peace, guardian of fire. Post. Hey there, Jedar. Enjoying yourself? Don't ask. If Dorkan finds out you weren't there to greet the Great Sun Seer, you're going to be headed for the stockade. Oh, I am sick of this. I should have been a Sun Seer like my father. Sun Seer? Are you nuts? Uh, I mean, Sunseer, that's a big deal. I'm like anyone else. I thank the Sun God every day for bringing us light and heat. But that doesn't mean I want to waste my time praying in front of the crystal in the chamber of the Rahal over there. Oh no, not me. What a pain. Shut up and get into position, okay? I hope I won't last too long. Something's going on! Let's check it out!
a sun god. A, a creature of darkness. Dunes, I... What, what's happening to me? Help! Guards! <laughs> Stupid jerk. You shouldn't have asked for it like that. Incredible. You're on your feet, alive. How do you feel? Looks like you took it all right. Relax. I'm on your side. That's better. Sun God, bless me with your rays. Useless odds and ends. Useless odds and ends. <laughs> He's not suffering anymore. He's not suffering anymore. Whoever you are, stay away, or you'll end up like that maggot over there. Come on, take it easy. I'm only here to help you. That superstitious fool didn't know what he was doing. But I understand, and I just want to help you. Then tell me who you are, and what's happening to me? I am Thalandar, a sunseer like your father. But above all, I am a healer. And I know what's wrong with you, Arkan. I know only too well. The darkness has taken root inside you, and it won't stop until it swallows you, body and soul. Is there any way to be cured? There might be a way. A secret energy from the dawn of time. It springs from deep within a crypt. But I shouldn't be talking about it. I've said too much already. Only your father can choose to divulge the secret and take you there. He is one of the rare initiates who knows where it is. You're telling me my father knows about this secret crypt? Yes. Go talk to Rilsadar. Only he can save you. All I can do is prepare a temporary remedy that'll numb the pain and slow the pace of the malady. Come back after you see your father. Everything all right in there? It's all right, Captain Fedoria. Everything's just fine. Have to act fast. Others are on the way, and they could be hostile too. Go to your father and ask him to lead you to the crypt. It's locked. Sun God. Bless me with your rays. Blasted gloom. It's locked. Blasted gloom. It's locked. Thanandar, what must I do? Go see your father. Ask him to sh and do it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks like a lock. Looks like a lock. Hmm. Arkan. Great Solar, can it be you? Looks like a lock. Arkan, great Solar. Can it be you? Lori was right. They contaminated you. It's the curse of the darkness. Hmm? Father, what's happening to me? What is this evil? Arkan, my son. Your courage saved the great Sun Seer, but I don't know what can save you from this evil. We'll do everything we can to heal you. Thanandar, our finest healer, is already hard at work. Thanandar said he couldn't do anything for me. He says the only real cure is found in some crypt. What? Thanandar told you about that... that place? Yes, he said only you could lead me there. Father, I need your help. If I had known that one day this would happen, your courage and your sacrifice have earned you the right to know. But remember this. Ordinarily, I am forbidden to lead you to that sacred spot. I must break my vow in order to heal you. You must promise never to speak of what you see there. I promise. Sunseer real, Siddhar, what... <gasps> By the great sun god, Ah, uh, Arkan? It's... <gasps> it's you. Yes, it really is, Arkan. The people that tried to kill Lori infected him. Arkan, uh, as I was saying, I, I'll take you there, just as I said. But first, I must speak to Provost Dorkan and get his approval. Go and see Sesekan, the archivist, and wait for me there. Arkan? Oh. Sweetheart, what have they done to you? Your, your face, your hands. You must consult the healers at the hospital. Don't forget, Arkan. Meet me at the temple, at the archivist's. Kali, don't panic. Listen, I had to go to the hospital. A guardian of fire jumped me. He didn't recognize me. He thought I was a creature of darkness. With everything that's going on, it's a total panic up there. The provost has taken control of the Stalite. The gates are closed. Access to the lower city is cut off. I can't go back. And the guardians of fire are looking everywhere for the culprits. I'm afraid of what'll happen if they find me. My father will help us, don't worry. Oh, by the great sun god. I hope he can help you. I'm afraid for you, Arkan. And what will the sun seers say if they see you... changed like that? They'll be afraid. They might banish you to the Darklands. Don't worry, Kelly. We'll be all right. Yes. 
I trust real Siddhar. You should go see him right away. Don't worry, Callie. We'll be all... Sunseers are the instruments of the Sun God. He speaks through our lips. He sees all of you through our eyes. He now exhorts us to resist the forces of darkness. The heretics who have let the darkness enter their hearts will pay for their treason with their own blood. Onward, guardians of fire, and remember your sacred mission. You are the avenging hand of the great Solar. You must drive all those who have consorted with the darkness out of the starlight. Swear by the god Solar. We swear, we swear by, by the great, great sun god. god. Blasted Sunseer. All his stories about creatures of darkness are gonna get me killed. Mm. Don't come near me, heretic! Sunseer, you've got to help me! Great Solar, the darkness... The darkness is within you! Mm -hmm. Sunseer, I really need your help. I was poisoned while I was saving Lori. But I'm still a guardian of fire, a faithful servant of the Sun God. Help explain to people that they shouldn't fear me. No. You can't fool me. The symbol of the Sun God illuminates my face. My eyes pierce your dark lies. And through my lips, the great Solar himself speaks. If the darkness has invaded you, it means you are no longer worthy of his light. What? I just saved Lori's life. Your dark tricks won't work. When she returns, the great Sunseer will banish you from the starlight. And if the Provost Dorkin doesn't want to suffer the same fate, he must unmask the heretics. Depart. Or I will call the guards. You're nothing but a half-baked, crazy old fanatic. If you try any tricks, the Sun God will strike you down. Hmm. No, this is no time to rest. Mm. Hmm? Don't be afraid, old man. Me? Afraid? Afraid of whom, young man? Uh, of me. What I mean is, maybe I startled you. Do not be concerned about that, my young friend. It would take a lot more than you to frighten old Sessikan. You know, I've seen many strange things in my time as archivist. Light be with you, archivist. I'm Arkan, son of Sunseer Real Sadar. You are the son of Real Sadar? <laughs> Forgive me, but I'm as blind as a temple bat. I did not recognize you. And it has been many, many moons since you last came here. You were just a wee scamp the last time. It's a pleasure to see you all grown up. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm supposed to meet my father, real Sadar. Have you seen him? Ah, uh, your father is a fine man. He often comes to see me. 
He is obsessed with the mysteries of before. He does a lot of research. He is very learned. <laughs> Not like Sunseer Brogo. I pity his pea-sized brain. So tiny, banging around in that empty skull of his. You know, one day he... Uh... Okay, okay, that's enough. Have you seen my father or not? Huh? Your father? Uh, why, no, I haven't seen him since the sun god rose today. Maybe he's praying in the Rahal room. Could that not be so? Sesakan, are you sure real Sadar hasn't been by? He was supposed to wait for me here. I am sure. My poor eyes are no longer very keen, but I assure you, son of Ril Sadar, no one has come by. Apart from you, of course, which is already quite an event. <laughs> I'm looking for information about a crypt. A crypt? Maybe you should go see Bandar, the Master Builder. No one knows this stalite from top to bottom better than he does. The Master Builder. And where would I find him? In the Builder's Palace, next door to the Great Temple. But I don't know if he will be there. He often goes down to the Lower City to supervise his work sites. Archivist, you're wise. Do you know what weird disease has infected me? The Black Rot. Yes. I have heard of it. I am not a healer sunseer like Thanandar, but I know this is a dreadful illness. Who do you say is sick? Uh, a friend of mine. Do you know of a cure? Alas, no. The healers have been seeking a cure for centuries. But no one has ever really been able to cure the Black Rot. I'll find a cure. You don't know anything else that, that might help me. Uh, sorry, my young friend. I don't know what else to tell you. Hmm, the writing's illegible. Hmm, the writing's... Hmm? The History of Our Starlight by Sunseer Gabka. The organization of our starlight, Sparta, dates from the time of Thelen Crone. This came after construction of the temple to the sun god and the great square. The sun seers, initiated by the light of wisdom and messengers from the sun god, welcomed into their newly built city all of the just who sought refuge there. The guardians of fire, loyal servants of the sun god, helped the sun seers welcome, lodge, and protect the new arrivals. The structures, from the finest to the most humble, were erected by the Builders. It was the famous Turkan who planned the most resplendent of Sparta's spaces. Men and women skilled in farming and hunting joined together to form the Providers, and the many scavengers, old and young, men and women, helped everyone make Sparta a haven of peace and light amid the darkness. Hmm. Things aren't what they used to be, are they? There's a mechanism, but I can't get it to work. Piece of crap! Piece of crap! I don't have time to climb it. There's something here.
gates locked. So, do you think the Sunseer is telling the truth? That the Black Shroud is really threatening us? I don't know. But after the attack on the Great Sunseer, we'd better keep a sharp lookout. If those slimes come back, they'll get a surprise from me. You said it. They'll pay for Jadar's death with their own blood. And for what they did to Arkham. What about the Great Sunseer? With the declaration of martial law, she's gone into hiding. Dorkan has everything under control. Yeah? They say Zed's down in the lower city, chasing after the creatures that did it. Okay, let's go. Better get back to our posts. Hey, you! Over there! Halt! Karn, watch out! Arkhan? It's all right, guard. It's me. I won't bite you. No, no, but you're different. Don't take it personal. But how do I know if you're telling the truth? Guard, I know what they told you and what they want you to believe, but I haven't done anything wrong. The creatures that attacked the Great Sunseer poisoned me. And I have to find a way to cure this disease. Yes, I believe you. You're a friend of the Great Zeds, so I trust you. But Dorkhan's declared martial law. All intruders are being tracked down one by one. You should go tell him what happened to you. I'm still a guardian of fire. I swear by the Sun God, it's true. I believe you. Mm -hmm. Teskin, don't be afraid. Arkan? You? I... What kind of curses come over you? The creatures that attacked the Great Sunseer poisoned me. And I have to find a way to cure this disease. Don't worry. Dorkan's blocked off all the entrances. We'll catch all the intruders. Zed went out in person to hunt them down. You can be sure the creatures who dared attack Lori will pay with their lives. The creatures who did... did that to you. Hey, Teskin, don't look at me like that. I'm still a guardian of fire, just like you. Listen. You ought to go see the Provost. Sun God, bless me with your rays. Ah, that feels good. This is no time for sleeping. This is no time for sleeping. There's no reason to be afraid of me, Kabak. Archon, is that really you? Holy Sun God, they really messed you up. Hmm? Kabak, I'm looking for the medicine that will cure me. I've heard about a crypt, a secret place somewhere in the Stalite. You've been here longer than almost anyone. Surely, you must know something about it. A secret crypt? No, I don't know anything about it. Some people say the whole stalite is filled with underground vaults and grottos, but I say it's nothing but talk. You want my opinion, son? You should go see the Sunseer healers. Hmm? The healers can't do anything for me. Then there's only one thing left to do. Pray to the Sun God and ask him to drive out the darkness invading your body. Or else...
Some people say there's a woman out in the Darklands who can heal any disease, no matter how bad. Those are nothing but kid stories. And anyway, now that they've declared martial law, no one can get out of the city. Listen, Muldar. I need to talk to Dorkin. My orders are final. I can't let you in. Just listen to me. I'm not here as an enemy. I have to see Dorkin. Not a chance. You're not going in not with that weapon in your hand. I need to find metal that can be melted to make spit rod ammunition with this machine. Nothing but empty barrels. Maybe this isn't a good time to sit down. It's locked. Nothing interesting. Halt! Who goes there? Tell me who you are, or I'll dispatch you to the Darklands. Mm. Mm. Fedoria, it's me, Arkin. Arkan? The poison has changed you beyond recognition. You believe me. You're not afraid. That's a welcome change from the other Guardians of Fire. You are the living image of everything they've been taught to fear. It makes no difference to me, as long as your soul remains pure. I haven't received any orders to kill or arrest you. I don't know where to turn. Most of my so-called friends have turned against me, or are trying to trick me. If you have faith in yourself and in the Sun God, you'll find a way out. Can you help me? No. I can't get involved. You have to find the solution by yourself. Get out of my way. I can't work out with you standing there. It's the large training target.
combat dummy. No time to use it. Peep out of you and you can finish your argument out in the Darklands. <laughs> Teskin, is that you? Holy Sun God! I don't know how the hell you got in here, but you ain't getting out. Locked. Hey, you! Let me out of here! Break down the bars! That Guardian doesn't have the key. But you don't need it anyway, do you? You're strong enough to break down the bars, huh? It's locked. Hey, who's opening the door? Hmm? Locked. Hey, you! Let me out of here! Break down the bars! That Guardian doesn't have the key. But you don't need it anyway, do you? You're strong enough to break down the bars, huh? Sun God, bless me with your rays. It's locked. Help me! Let me out! Arcan? Is it really you? Sweetheart, I thought I'd never see you again. But what were you doing in prison? The Guardians of Fire. They captured me in Real Sadar's room. And they let you keep your knife? 
Wonderful guards we have. They said real Sadar had disappeared, and then they suspected me of having something to do with it. I tried to explain, but they locked me up without even listening. What does all this mean? I don't have the slightest idea. I'm afraid something bad has happened to real Sadar. Okay, now let's get out of here. Yes, but the Guardians of Fire are looking for you. It won't be easy to get past them. Well, with a face like mine, it's kind of hard to blend in with the crowd. And your scavenger clothes, they stand out all right. After the way you messed up that guard, I doubt if we can use his uniform. Stick close behind me, understand? Okay. It's locked. Hey, who's opening the door? Locked. Hey, you! Let me out of here! Break down the bars! That Guardian doesn't have the key. But you don't need it anyway, do you? You're strong enough to break down the bars, huh? Don't just stand there. Wait here. No good, it's all rusted. Nothing to fear. I won't do you any harm. No! No! Don't come any closer! Stay right where you are! Please, stay calm. It's me, Arcan. I'm a guardian of fire, like you. No! I've never laid my eyes on you before! Help! Help me, guardians of fire! Stay calm, fatso. No! No! Don't come any closer! Stay right where you are! Quit yelling! It's me, Arkan! No, I've never laid my eyes on you before! Help! Help me, Guardians of Fire! Odds and ends. Locked. Look, one of Bogdoran's old uniforms before he got his gut. All right, I'll try it on. Not a bad fit. I'm sure the Guardians of Fire won't recognize me if they don't look too closely at my face.
careful. This is where things start getting serious. Pretend you're my prisoner. It should work. Arcan? What are you doing? Be careful. Moldar, I'm begging you. Okay, go on in. What do you think you're doing, barging in here like that? Arkan? You? Still, uh, hanging in there? Dorkin, I'm sick. The great Sunseer's attackers poisoned me with this black filth. They say I'm one of the enemy. It's not true. I did my duty, that's all. Calm down. Calm down. What did Thanandar the healer have to say? He told me uh, about a crypt and a remedy it's supposed to hold. He told me to see my father, that my father could take me there. Nonsense! <laughs> Thanandar lied to you, to give you hope. The truth is, the Sunseers no longer control this situation. That's why I was forced to take command of the Stalite. Oh, you know how much respect I have for your father and the great Sunseer Lori. I declared martial law in order to... Uh, to protect them more efficiently. As for you, you were definitely a good guardian of fire, but now, who could swear you can still be trusted? I haven't done anything! It's everyone else! They're, they're all afraid of me! I'm still a man! Ask the healer. Maybe not. But Thanandar should never have let you go. He should stick to healing. Giving advice is beyond his competence. I don't trust him. If you want to return to your own people, you must prove your loyalty to me. Go back to Thanandar, then come tell me everything he says and does. Go! Arkan, let me make myself perfectly clear. I'll do you a favor, but don't come back here until you have some information for me. From now on, I'm the one who runs this stalite, and don't you forget it, or you'll spend the rest of your days languishing in a dank prison cell. That's the fate that awaits anyone who dares rise up against me. I'll be back. Not too many people here. It's down below we'll have a problem. That's for sure. They're not going to let us just stroll out the door. Be careful, Arcan. Let's keep together. Stay beside me, and don't get too far away. There's a Guardian over there! Arcan, don't go too far! Hello there, darling. Hello to you, Guardian of Fire. I'm escorting this prisoner to the hospital. So 
So far, the Sun God is on our side. Now we have to get around the Guardian of Fire on the platform. He'll never let you go down, with or without me. I'm going to hide behind the wagon and spy on that guard on the platform. Quick, it won't be long before they discover I've flown the coop. What's under here? Let's see what's written on it. If you seek the way to the music of the spheres, move three times to the right towards the sun god, then twice to the left, honoring his emissary, the moon. Finally, once more to the right, to avoid the darkness of the night. Thus will you come upon the path which leads to the sacred site of eternal day. Hmm. When sunseers start raving. Looks like a lock. I won't get it open with that. Looks like a lock. I won't get it open with that. Thanandar, have you seen Milsidar? Have you been able to get into the crypt? Hmm? I still haven't found the crypt, but you spoke of a remedy that numbs the pain. I don't have one ready. Rilsidar has to show you the way to the crypt. It's the only answer. If only I could help you. You think you could save him? I'm sure I can. Soon he'll be more alive than ever before. Nothing on him. Nothing on him. What are you doing to him? Healing him. But he's dead. No, Ignoramus. He's still alive. And soon he will walk again. Listen. Leave, Archon. Time is running out. Sun God, bless me with your rays. No time to wash. No time to wash. Keep out of the way and watch a real artist at work. Guardian of Fire! What are you doing here? 
you were summoned to go with Guardian, uh, to the Rahal room. What? This is the first I've heard about it. Hurry up. Dorkin's not in a good mood today. Dorkin? Well, uh, I'm on my way. Thanks. Let's not hang around. Give me a minute to get out of this crummy uniform. 